Oh yeah, literally. That was not a one. There we go, William. Little new comb. Wow, there's two. They got plenty of honey in there. It's literally two what two weeks into in the spring. Oops. Wow, there's some pollen there, look. All of this comb that's brand new comb that they haven't had a chance to fill yet, what we'll do, oh, we'll take that off and we'll melt that down into candles and stuff like that later, at a later date. But all the honey, we'll be collecting that in a separate bag and we'll be feeding that back to them later on so they can have it all back later. But it does make our job a little bit more difficult. They are quite incredible, incredible beasties, aren't they? I'm going to get on there, Rick. I'm going to take some more of the empty comb out and then I'm going to start putting the oh, honeycomb in this one. And while you do that, I'll start taking these out of here. Yeah. That's a good bit there. I'm drinking away. So we're going to get some of this out and then we'll be back. And don't forget, keep looking for that queen. Yeah. Let's not chop the head off this one. No. <laughs> Accidents happen, even to queens. I can't believe how much stores they've got already. No, look at the bees up the, uh, up the farm. Oh yes. They've made absolute, there was empty two weeks ago and I was getting worried about them and then they've just made all that honey in the space for two weeks. Make hay while the sun shines, that's what the bees do. It's undone at this end by the way. That old grub juice has come out. Yeah. What Ricky's doing there is getting elastic bands, or rubber bands I should say, in the right places. Sticky there. Oh god. Ooh, that's soft. Very really soft. Oh, that drone boot's gonna have to go, I think, at the bottom. There we go. That'll probably be gorse, won't it? All this here. Gorse pollen they've collected. This one nice. Using the wrong tool. Top <laughs> it's so soft the, the comb, you, can, you like to hold it and it just melts under your fingers, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I've already got three stings, I think. One in the back of my calf, one in my leg. And in it goes. We're going to need another new, can't we? Yes, well, there's, there's always that cover bit, isn't there? That's the most creepiest thing ever. Oh, oh look at that, look his stomach. Look, his, bee, his stomach's full of all the stuff he's been drinking. Mm. Oh. oh well. Sorry if you find that distressing, but. <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is real life where one day we're saving bees, the next day we're killing a rat. So this is the real world that we live in, I'm afraid. Well, I'm not afraid actually. I'm quite glad we live in this real world. Look at his baby, wasn't he? <laughs> Look how, look how fluffy it is. Baby bee. That's not the queen, is it? Let's see if it's easier. Cleaning away. Oh, right, I see what you mean. That I see hole. what I mean, yeah. You'd never have found that on a survey. No. That's going in between the walls. That is a bit of a worry. That's the cavity wall of the house, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well let's keep getting this out and we'll see what's down there. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could put a bit of shade over this, leave this open and go and make some more frames up. Just try and put this over the top of it. Back with in a moment when we've got some more frames. Yeah, just cover it over with that. So we're back. 
still plenty of bees about. I don't know what Rick is having to do is because we want them to get their uh, their scent inside this colony, inside this nuke. The more bees are in there, the more the smell and the pheromones and stuff will build up. As you can see, there's a lot of them all over the place. Whoop. <laughs> Look at that, how they're all running down there. You want to get that on camera? Yeah. They're all running that way. And that running down there. Mm. I think I might need to get the smoker down that hole, mate. Ah, that's a good idea. I never thought of that. There's some nice cool smoke. That's cleared up that a lot. Yeah, this is the way ahead, I think. We're coming up here now, look. We need to go into this nuke, come on! It's just, to, it's just to give them something yeah, to then. start falling on. Put that says underneath the... Look how I'm going to put the wall, man. Wow, look at that, they're all running that way. How's it looking now? There's quite a lot of bees in here. Let me just have a quick look at these frames, see if there's... Oh, because it's ain't got brood, has it? Was it this last one that was brood? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, they're preoccupied doing their... doing what bees do. And they're all coming this the way. Oh, they're coming back this way now, aren't they, yeah. Mons? Yeah. They're coming back in this direction. It's like watching a load of people in uh, like a train station, <laughs> like organising themselves, isn't it? Look at that, them doing that, look. Yeah. All right, yes, yeah. Do you want to point out the track to the people? I'm going along there. I'm going this way, hope for the stop going hopefully. into here. Oh, that one. It's so amazing how they work it out, isn't it? Yeah, look, we see how I've got to chase these up all up here. And they're all going like that. Wrangle them bees, Ricky. Wrangle them bees. Ah. <laughs> oh. Again. For God's sake. Right in my car. <laughs> Fourth sting I've had today. Matt. Oh, God. Oh, oh. They're just chilling. Okay. Well, they get them dark in there, mate. See if there's a queen there. Let's get into where I want them, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, them coming this way. These bees are really starting to test our patience now. They've been busy, busy girls, and since we've done the survey, there's a lot more bees here now. What we're trying to do, we're going to give them a little bit more time. Not a lot now, not a lot. There's hardly any bees on this side now, Rick. There's loads on, on the front of that nuke there, look. Same on the front of this. Let's just give them, give them 10 minutes. And what I'm gonna do, Rick, I'm gonna fill in these void spaces. I'm gonna fill in that void space next. Because the less places they've got to go to, other than one of the nukes, the better the results are gonna be. But I'm gonna get that filled up now, some insulation. Just while we're waiting for these bees to get inside this nuke. So these are honey bees. What I want to show you while we're waiting for them, very patiently, because that's the kind of guys we are. This here, this once upon a time, this insulation looked the same as this insulation, fluffy and flat. But what's done this is a species called tree bumblebees. Now, we spend two months of the year getting inundated with calls about tree bumblebees. They're a very, very dif different species to all our native bumblebees. They're a non-native species. They came over to the south coast of the UK in the year 2000, I believe. We got them in the West Midlands about seven or eight years ago. And now they're absolutely we're inundated with calls about them. And this is the nest that they make. One of the big differences is they will overwinter. So a lot of the time they'll come back to the same place year after year after year. So that's totally different kind of advice that we have to give about tree bumblebees to all our native species, which is just leave them. They won't come back next year. But let's have a look what's inside here. So you can see the little beasties. They've fluffed all this up themselves. 
obviously that's a honey bee. You need to go over there, my friend. Over there. So let's have a look what's inside here. I hope it's not active, really. I know, that would be hilarious. <laughs> let's have a look what we find. There's loads of little holes oh, in it. Oh, here we go. So this is all the fluffed up bit. And then we're getting down to the actual colony itself. This one's a few years old, yeah, I think. Wax moths have uh, had a go at that. Yeah. Yeah. Inside here, what's uh, left here is little goblets. Look at the larvae oh. there. So that's a little goblet there, look. And there's another one. You just about see them on the end of my finger and thingy. And that would have been filled up with either honey or it would have been filled up with uh, a grub. And that is how the nest gets built. Just these, these dead ones. Yes, it was a tree bumblebee, look, there's its head. And there's a the telltale side, side of the tree bumblebee. They have an orange shoulders and a head, but they've got a bulb patch. A bit like me getting like that. And you can actually see the bulb patch on the top of that, look. There's another one of the egg cases. Little cups. I think the wax moths have uh, made that very uh, <laughs> stringy, haven't they? Look? Yeah. But yeah, mm. these bees right here, no wax moths whatsoever. That's because that was a strong guarded colony. Yeah. This one wasn't. If you would like to see how we save tree bumblebees and all other kinds of bee bumblebees as well, if you're watching on mobile or laptop, have a look here right now. Uh, if I can remember, we might put a link in for the playlist on the end of this video as well. Keep watching and keep clicking. Why not have a subscribe while you're there? These are nearly in there, Rick. I want my tea. I don't know about you. We'll speak to you in a moment. This is what it's all about for us. The roof is all back. Better than it was before, as we usually leave things. Remember the bees were going in down here. There's still a few stragglers down there. But 99% of the bees are now inside this nuke. They're going to go to our quarantine apiary. I've got nicely covered in... Uh, what's it called? This stuff? Bitumen. Bitumen. Don't forget, if you want to see what we do with also with bumblebees and how we rescue them, there'll be a video right here, right now. Yeah. <laughs> and if you want to watch more honeybees, that'll be here. And you might want to subscribe, that'll be here-ish. About here, I reckon. 